<laughs> yeah, bro, is that that new Brain Worms apparel? <sighs> yeah, bro. That shit's hot. Yeah, I think so. Show them that other design you got. All right. Oh, jeez. Listen, you guys been asking for it, so we went ahead and did it. Brain Worms apparel, officially live today. Two designs, a collaboration with one of my personal favorite artists, uh, available now at shop.leonlush.com. Get yourself a gift this holiday season. Now let's get back to what you and I do best, which is, you know, having a laugh as we watch the civility of our society come unraveled at the seams, and then convincing ourselves of the lie that everything's gonna be okay just so we can then sleep at night. So we came up with a formal definition that now resides on the back of this apparel, but brainworms is best characterized by people who just have no ability to exercise, restraint and poise, in public when faced with very mildly challenging situations. The Karens, the Kevins, the Chads, you know, all these people that uh, get caught on camera for 45 seconds out of context and then go viral and their life blows up and they lose their job. I'm not saying I like it. In fact, I've kind of come to the point where I almost despise the people holding the camera just as much. Uh, but it is how the world is now, so it, the, least, the, 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 the least we can do is watch and enjoy. Uh, so let's jump right into it. We're abolishing it. There we go. Now, over. Don't listen to that. Classic guy refusing to wear a mask. Don't don't in a private business. I have freedom. I have rights. Serve the people. I have the right to not get Get You have your rights. I'm not forcing you. You're forcing me. Sir, I am free. <laughs> He just in case I don't want to get confused. He is he's he is free. He has freedom. He has rights. He's made that abundantly clear. Uh, and apparently, they're not having it at Subway though. Yeah, I I can't have you right now. I can't. I'm gonna have to call. Call who you need to, but I'm just saying it's the law with the health department. No, it's not. You're breaking the law. You're following them. I'm not. Sir, I have free. Okay. Serve my sandwich. Yes, you do. No, I don't, I'm sir. Yes, you do. Um, sir, they are Subway employees, not indentured servants. For what Subway's paying them, I promise you they are not truly obligated to do anything. You already served it, so... Jesus. I mean, his chances were already pretty slim, but once you throw a tantrum and start punching the protective plexiglass, you're definitely not getting a sandwich at that point. No, I'm not wearing the mask. Okay. I need to breathe. Uh, he needs to breathe. I get that was the reasoning, so we cleared that up. Good, good. What's your fucking problem? Oh. Wearing your fucking mask. Oh, no. Oh, now it's everyone else's problem for, for wearing a mask. No, he didn't. Dumped it. Just look at this dirty 3 0 fastball he just threw. Oh my God, you love to see the tantrums. Oh, his buddy's with him too, walking out with him, just absolutely embarrassed to the teeth. <clears throat> Brainworms. Here's an idea if you can't muster up the strength to toss a mask on for like five minutes while they make your Subway sandwich because your freedom just won't allow it. Make your own fucking sandwich at home. It's that easy. Alternatively, like for the subway workers, you're probably way worse off challenging this dude. Like maybe just, maybe just give him his sub and get him out of there because that's gonna be a lot safer for everyone involved than having him stand there for 10 minutes screaming and spitting all over everything. It's a fucking lose-lose situation for everybody. I don't know how the fuck the mask thing has spiraled so far out of control in a few short months, but every time I log online, it's brain worms after brain worms of people just losing their shit over incredibly innocuous situations. Now, I'm not a fan of the tantrum he just threw, but I am a fan of that split-knuckled fastball he just delivered. And you know what else I'm a fan of? affordable wireless earbuds when I'm on the go. Woo! Yes! Fuck yes! Nailed the transition! Oh, well played, Leon, you absolute god. <clears throat> Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. <laughs> Raycon wireless earbuds are a big brain gift this holiday season. Not only are they discreet and stylish, but they've become synonymous with offering quality sound at about half the price of other premium earbuds. Whether I'm headbanging to the new system of a down or doing some calisthenics to sculpt my ass, these babies always stay in my ear. The bass response is awesome for such a sleek earbud, and with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a case that charges them on the go, you can listen to that Mariah Carey Christmas song all day long without pissing off your roommates or having to plug them in. 
Finally, a gift your friends and family might actually use. Right now, you're in luck because Raycon's being a bit generous for the holidays and offering 15% off an already great price so you can save big on your gift shopping. That includes a 45-day free return policy, which means there's no risk involved. So go to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to get 15% off your partner's future favorite holiday present. I appreciate you. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So this this one's a little bit older now. Clearly, it happened like on election night or something like that. But it has aged like a fine wine. On this election, the media's covering it up. The Biden crime family steal this election. The media's covering it up. We want our freedom for the world. Give us our freedom, Joe Biden. Joe Biden's covering up this election. He's stealing it. The barbecue beer and freedom t-shirt is the cherry on top of this video for me. I love all those things. I got a beer here. I enjoy freedom and barbecue food as well. The bleach blonde hair with the salt and pepper roots, very interesting uh, choice from my friend here. I don't care how people choose to look or present themselves, just didn't really fit the mold of what I was thinking. We want our freedom for the world. Give us our freedom, Joe Biden. Now I'm a big fan of being passionate about things you love and you believe in, but you have to wonder if a display like this is maybe a bit counterintuitive to what he's trying to accomplish. I think it's a veteran move too, that he didn't outstay his welcome. He wasn't getting carted out of there. He just showed up, he delivered his point, poignant, tangible, uh, and then he took off. Gets home, cracks a beer, has a barbecue, enjoys his freedom, and pats himself on the back. Nice job, Eric, job well done. Now everyone knows about the Biden crime family fucking corruption. The Biden crime family steal this election. I mean, if you were on the fence about election fraud, I mean, look no further. Uh, the evidence speaks for itself. We don't have the vibrational frequency to hold, host that virus. And I taught her that. So if you if you don't have that Saying vibra proudly. Vi vibrational Learn frequency right here. Learn that from me. Here, you're not going to get it. Yeah. I you we don't have the vibrational frequency to get COVID. Correct. Do you know that, that everything is, that in this universe correct. vibrates? Indeed. And is alive. There is life with that. That's what I'm talking about. I don't put life into COVID. I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask, mask either. They I never wear a mask. mask. I'm not going to wear them. You don't say. Ever. True story. 2017, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. So I go home. I twist my testicle about three degrees counterclockwise to change the vibrational frequency. Gone. Immediately disappeared. You cannot get sick if you have the right vibes, bro. Do you know that everything in this universe vibrates? Open your eyes, sheeple. The universe is one big vibration. Can we just, can we look at the absolute pride in her face when she's like, yeah, I taught her that. That was, that was, you got, I, t <laughs> the vibrational frequency to hold, host that virus. And I taught her that. So if you, if you don't have that vibration. <laughs> It's just so good to the point of parody, but you know it's authentic because nobody could act this well. I taught her that. I mean, this woman is pure, unadulterated brain worms. You're holding up the line there, Karen. <laughs> Shut the oh, bitch, all you want to. You spit on you. Oh no, Karen. Is that saliva out your mouth there, Karen? <laughs> this guy, dude. No, Karen, you're holding up the line. I need my McChicken and my McNuggets. Get out the line there, Karen. This guy is a riot, dude. Come on. I need my McChicken, my fries, and my drink. Get out the way there, Karen. Come on, Karen. Oh, oh, shit. Stop that, Karen. I need my food to get more fatter, Karen. <laughs> Watch out the way there, Karen. No, Karen, you're holding up the line there, Karen. Yeah, get out of here now, Karen. Thank you very much there. Four and on. Four, four and on with those gun fingers there, Karen. <laughs> All right, Karen. You're the fucking Karen, you stupid bitch. Zero context to what was going on at all, but that was just, that was so funny. That guy was a hoot, man. Get out the way there, Karen. Try to get my McChicken and my nuggets, Karen. Get Is his wife really pregnant? Jesus Christ. I don't give a shit if you're Republican, Democrat, vegan activist, or protesting whale poaching. 
Don't block traffic, you stupid fu- 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 Who needs to get through? Get, get off! We're not, we're not hurting animals! Get the f*** out of the way! It's violence! It's violence! It's just like us! Get out of the way! Oh my god, dude. My, my skin is crawling. Uh, the positive here is that this is the first Brainworms video I feel like in three episodes that hasn't been about politics or mask wearing. Uh, the downside of that is it makes me want to punch every vegan in the face. I'm so thrilled for you if you're vegan, but let the goddamn man get his wife to the hospital so they can deliver their baby safely. Ooh. Ooh. Because I will take this all the way. I am going now to court to fight masks and you are not going to tell me what to do. I'm sorry? Stand six feet away from me. Right out of the gates, this woman is, <laughs> she's she's going to court to fight masks. The fucking, the biggest trial since the OJ case, baby. <laughs> Holy fuck. And do your social, no, more, more. You want to be safe, stand six feet away from me, okay? <clears throat> That's it. Give me your card with your name because this branch is going to hear your name. You're going to become famous. Do it now. Do it now. You Oh, the irony, the absolute irony of that whole situation. You work for me. I do not work for you. I've been a customer since 1990. Dude, what is it with these fucking psycho brainworms people with like this entitlement that they feel like they own whoever is providing them a service at whatever shop they're at? Subway, Citibank, it doesn't matter. Apparently, if you work a salary job or an hourly job, whoever you're serving just owns you and you have to do whatever they say. That's just how it is. That's how it is now. I'm so sorry. And it sucks because employees generally are conditioned that are in customer service that you're not allowed to give any sort of lip back or even barely stand up for yourself. So they have to sit there and get berated by this fucking idiot. I just want one time, just one video for my man there on the right to just stand up, slowly unlatch the plexiglass protector, slide it to the right and just... <laughs> Your job, dude. You could get a go start a GoFundMe. You'd make like three hundred thousand dollars if you slap the Botox out that bitch's face. I'm sorry, we're not even halfway through the video. I just got a little uh, got a little heated on this one. Ninety. Were you born then? Shame on you. <laughs> You're very lucky she's not here, cause she knows me well. Oh no. Her boss. Oh, she Count knows the days. owner. Count your days. Count your days. Holy. What? This is giving you the right to be a bully? <laughs> because you're brainwashed? I'm a scientist! That no, wow, dude, this is so much to digest. This is a full course meal. She's calling them a bully? The irony. She's a scientist? Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. There is no corona! Oh. Don't make me wear your mask! Are you crazy? Are you trying to kill me? What happens if you have corona? Are you, did you just say you're Okay, it's going off the rails. Uh, she claims she's a scientist and there is no corona. And then it sounds like the employee offered to give her a mask, maybe hers. And then she says, what if you have corona? Are you trying to kill me? So is there a corona now? Just she, get your story straight, bitch. What is wrong with you? you? Did you just say you're trying to kill me? I want to know because we're on camera. Did you just suggest for me to wear your dirty mask? Because I think you did. Give me your name and your number now. You're done. I'm not you are done. As always, I lack the ability to comprehend how a woman like this has made it through her life acting like this. Uh, how has she not been tossed into a river with cement boots on? I have no idea. I'll never understand it. But God bless. Nigel, if you could do me the honors, please. Brain the, the poll book, The poll book is completely off. Completely oh, yeah. off. I saw this well, one. This was a uh, another I'd election say that fraud. That poll book is off by over a hundred thousand. Thing that poll book. They brought. Why don't you look at the registered Trump's voters lawyer Giuliani brought in this How woman. How many registered voters as, like, are like a star there? witness? Apparently, I'm not trying to debate about voter fraud. What went on at the polls, right? But if you're trying to plead a case, are you really going to choose this bitch to represent your side? Are you kidding me? My question here is. Why we're not seeing the poll book off by thirty thousand votes? That, that's not the what case. What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? 
I'm just saying the numbers are not off by 30,000 votes. So I know what I saw. That they're filling in? I know what I saw. <laughs> and I signed something saying that if I'm wrong, I can go to prison. Okay. Did you? Okay, we're... Uh, I burned, I guess. I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I don't know the truth of what went on. Right? I'm not sure that anyone really does, right? But all I'm saying is how desperate must you be to use this woman as your witness? Did you see the eyebrow flare? What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? I'm just saying the numbers are not off by 30. Additionally, maybe she should limit herself to one shot of Jameson in her morning coffee instead of 12 that she must have had before this hearing. What did you guys do? <laughs> do something crazy to it? Put the phone down! Put the phone down! You can't film me in here! Yes, this is can. private this is a private gym. You cannot film me in here! There's no expectation of privacy. Yes, there is. All I'm asking is to put on a fucking mask. I have a medical condition. All right, yeah, this is fake. Uh, it, 20 seconds in, this screams <clears throat> fake to me. This uh, I've never seen more poorly acted fake outrage. Lame. Okay, further proof. If I'm looking at who tweeted this, male Karen alert, sirens. This guy went nuts because I told him to hashtag wear a mask. So it's the actual dude who's tweeting it and who claimed to have taken the video. So he's obviously trying to get clout. His comment about my body at the end, so rude. Please retweet and expose this moron and then 30 hashtags. This dude is a f clown. You see, what we have here is a rare case of not the subject of the video, but the actual person that made the tweet having brain worms. If you're gonna make fake shitty videos to try and go viral off a contrived outrage, at least don't suck ass at it. There's two of you out here. Hey man, I you think you're actually making a difference? You're making people pissed off in this fucking neighborhood. Dude, we didn't mean to do that. Are go you home. Members? You're the only go person home. who's come out to complain. I live across the street. You're not the only one in this neighborhood. <laughs> go home. No. There's two people standing out here on the corner of Timberline and Prospect, and they're having people honking. It's after 11 o'clock. I want them arrested right now. Ah, yes, the classic criminal offense of getting people to honk their car horn. This might just be me, but if I'm making a list, it goes murder at the top, human trafficking, and right below that, honking your horn after 11 p.m. This man has a right to call the police and get these two young protesters arrested. I mean, just imagine the finesse it takes to be able to call the police and with a straight face, ask them to come arrest two young individuals for getting people to honk their horn. Whew, what a talent. <laughs> this is uh, this has been a good, this has been a fun brainworm sesh. I really appreciate you guys being here. Always my pleasure. Thank you to Raycon. Thank you to Brainworms Apparel. And thank you to you guys for lubing up both of your quadriceps, downing a 24 ounce glass of whole milk, standing up, ripping off your pants and hip thrusting that motherfucking like button. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.